Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four and five of um, Life's Vignette, which is a Blue Fern Collection, and this is four and this is five. And so this is the um, paper that I've selected for the base, and it's the same papers from the eight by eight. I'm using the A side and the B side. I'm gonna use the A side over on page four and the B side on page five. Okay, and then the B side's going to come over here. I've already got it inked. paper is so nice. I really love the way blue fern feels. Um, it reminds me uh, a little bit of 49 and Market too. The paper is so thick and uh, so smooth. Um, it's really nice. The blue fern is very smooth paper. Um, and the, the inks are, are quite saturated, so it turns out really lovely. Okay, so we're going to do some photo mats here. So I'm going to start with my 4x5. So this is a 4x5 inch photo mat. It's going to go down on the side. And then um, I've got this um, cardstock backed ephemera card, and it's going to go right here. And I'm going to actually make this a tuck spot. So I'm going to just lay down the corner. Like so. And so this will tuck just right in like so. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that until this is adhered firmly. I'm gonna add this as a, as a small embellishment. I'm gonna leave this edge open. So I'm gonna focus on gluing down the bottom and the sides so that you can tuck your photo behind it. And that's pretty much it for that side. And then over here, we're going to do two photo mats. I've got a four by six and a four by five. Four by six and four by five. I'm going to write that down. Okay. I'm going to offset these like so. I'm going to add this little dolly here, and then I think I'm going to try to use these flowers, although they're a little bit larger than I would prefer. Um, maybe I'll hang them off the top. Yeah, I kind of like that. So as you can see, these go together really quickly. Let's see, maybe I want to put the larger mat on top. And I want to keep these side by side so I can look for balance. Okay, I like this better. Thank you. 
Okay, four by six, four by five. Got our little girl here. I think she's cute. And then I think I want to work on figuring out how to make these flowers work for us. I think it's a little bit too much. So I'm trying to figure out a way to, to bring it down in size. Scale it back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this off the bottom and add some ink. And then I've got this little piece and I think I'm going to tuck it in up here or over here. What I like. Looks good. Okay, and then I made a little bow. I think I'll add it right down here. And that's just with um, some twine. This is actually white. I have a one that's more caramel colored here. And then I was also using um, little bits of this and bits of this. And these are all just from my stash. Um, which means I most likely got them at a craft store. I don't buy ribbons online. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just don't usually do that. And this is a three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we'll just stash that there too. Okay. I think that's going to be good. Page four, page five. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is moving right along. I'll be back soon.